In this video, I'll show you how to set up dual monitors on Windows 11. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. We really do appreciate it. And make sure you watch this video right until the end of the full steps and let's get right into this. So here we are, here are the two monitors which I want to go and set up um, to use both at the same time and using them as a dual setup. So now I want to go and show you my computer. And here is the back of my PC. If you're using a laptop, things are slightly easier and I'm going to explain both but first I'm going to go and explain if we're using a desktop PC. So the first thing to note is it's going to vary a little bit depending if you use a graphics card. So your graphics card is going to be down here at the bottom of your system. If I go and look inside my computer, here is the graphics card just here. So I'm personally using a graphics card, which basically means that it's a dedicated output system, um, but you may be using your motherboard. But what's really important is, is that you never mix these. So essentially, as you can see here, my motherboard outputs are actually covered up um, by the builder of the PC because it isn't designed to use these. So if you've got a graphics card, I always recommend using it. But if you don't have a graphics card, then don't worry because you can still use your motherboard outputs. It's only if you have a graphics card that you should use it. Otherwise, your motherboard's absolutely fine. Now, the next thing you need to do is go and identify the outputs you have on your PC. So on my motherboard, even though I don't use it, I've got a VGA and a DVI, quite old ports to be honest. But on my graphics card, I've got one HDMI and three display port. Um, and now you want to go and take a look at your monitors to go and see what inputs they have, because then we can identify which cables we need to use and if we need any adapters. So on this monitor, it's got display port input, and then we'll take a look at this monitor now. Apologies for the dust, but on this monitor, I've only got a VGA input, which means I'm gonna go and need an adapter. So here we are behind my PC once again, and as you can see, just to clarify, I've got three display port and one HDMI. So as you would have probably just figured out, my, one of my monitors has only got VGA inputs. This is where I actually have this adapter. So as you can see on this end, it's going to got a display port input. And then on this side, it goes and outputs to VGA. So all in one is basically an adapter. And I'm going to link to a ton of adapters down below. Because I know a lot of people may just have HDMI outputs on their, on their graphics card and have a VGA monitor. That's fine. You can go and get an HDMI to VGA adapter and you can just get all sorts of adapters and cables. But then for my main monitor, I can just go and use a standard display port to display port because it goes and inputs to a display port. My PC outputs to a display port. And if you're unsure of what these outputs are or any inputs are on your monitor, I recommend checking the manual. Or you can just go and Google what are the inputs on my monitor or what are the outputs on my computer. So if you need any adapters, I'll try and put a ton in the description down below. But once you've got the adapters and the cables, all you need to do is go and plug them all in. So let's just go and plug this display port in here. Just remember they have got these triangle pieces, so make sure they're aligned correctly. So I'll plug this one in just here. And then I'm going to go and plug this one in here as well, which is just the normal display port. So I'll go and plug this one in here. And the next thing you need to do is go and fire up your computer. And there's some settings we need to go and change in Windows. So here we are on my computer. And now all you need to do is right click anywhere in your desktop, just like so. And you need to go and click on display settings. You can also go and get here just by opening up the settings app. And then you can get here as well. But this is a bit easier to get here. And then the display settings will then load and here we are. If you've only got one of your monitors here, then go and press detect or it may mean one of the cables isn't quite pushed in properly so go and check that. And the next thing you need to do is go and decide how the dual monitors are going to work. So at the moment I've got mine on extending these displays but as you could see you could have them being duplicated. For example, if you're using a, a projector you may want that or you could have show only on one or show only on two. And the next thing you need to do is scroll down a bit and choose which you want to be the main display. So the main display is where all your app icons are going to appear. So for example, if I click on number two, this isn't the main display, it's not ticked, but number one is. And then you can scroll further down and you can go and choose the display resolution and you can do that for each monitor. So I'll click on this one. As you can see, it's different because it's a smaller monitor. Um, and then you can go and click on advanced as well. And there's a few more settings in there about refresh rate. But the main thing you need to go and choose is how it's displayed. And that's how you can change it because extending the space is a lot better than duplicating, in my opinion, but it's gonna depend on what you want. And there's a few other settings you can go and check out as well. If you found this video useful, please leave a like, peace.